Ladies and gentlemen, this is your host here once again. It is Team Mara. Now, before I go any further, my listeners, anyone out there on social media got a chance to listen to the podcast from earlier today? If not, tap that bell. You definitely will get a notification. And leave a comment, positive comment. Subscribe, hit the like, and that really sums it up. Same thing for this one. Now, once again, I will discuss for you wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of interesting topics to discuss for you. So if you like, sit back, relax, be a feed up, grab something to eat, grab something to drink. Now, if you don't do nothing like that, that's okay with me. That's your decision. Maybe you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts and opinions on a certain matter, and there will be an article down below. Let's freaking roll this. Now, I want to discuss about the brand split. They brought it back. They faded away. They brought it back. They faded away. Now, this one, it sucks, okay? It sucked for a long time. Why even bring it back? I don't know. Probably a lot of these wrestlers complain. They don't get the, the TV time. They don't get the, the major push, whatever. Now, if... They have Raw and SmackDown on one roof. You know, like, for example, you could have Seth Rollins on SmackDown and a Raw. And then, if that did happen, then the guys is on Raw or SmackDown only, exclusive. They won't get that major push anymore or TV time. Boo, hoo, hoo. I'm not going to believe this until it's official. Okay, let me read this real quickie. Okay, um, the wrestling a promotion split into the two brands back in O2. O2 was very new, fresh, and then it got very, very boring, okay? When McMahon roster is too big to hold house, it's just one three hour show. Okay, you guys can read the rest of it, so they might. In the brand split, hopefully. I think it's got stupid, you know. Especially when John Cena's on Raw, John Cena's on SmackDown Live, you know. Just because he's a free agent, you know, they use that as a stupid storyline. Dumb. So I'll put, I'll put you guys the rest of it. So, because everyone knows that SmackDown Live is moving to Fox. I mentioned that a couple of days ago, or was it yesterday? So, let's see what happens. So, my opinion is I think Raw should leave the, the leave USA Network. So I'll put the full article. I know you guys don't believe this. I know a lot of you don't believe rumors. I like to read re, re, like re rumors. So that's all I gotta say. They need to end the, the brand split. You guys agree? Disagree? The super shakeup was very stupid. Um, the draft, the, ver the original draft was very new and fresh. Then they keep bringing it back over and over. And what's the p purpose of keep doing it over and over? And it's not really working out. You know what I'm saying? Because I told you back that back in the day, like if they, you know, they did a super shake up, and then out of the blue, John Cena's on freaking Raw. John Cena's on freaking SmackDown. What's the purpose? Leave one guy on on one show. You know, exclusive. But I guess. It's not doing very well. That's why they have Raw and SmackDown combined for pay per view because the ticket sales are not doing very well. Now they realize that Raw and SmackDown Live, the ticket sales for that events are not doing good either. So they want to combine it. You know, I know a lot of you missed the wrestlers of the ones you grew up like Hulk Hogan, Slaughter, Taker, HBK, Triple H. The list goes on and on. Those guys. Or not in the WWE anymore. I mean, Triple H is, but he's doing other important things, you know? So, and another thing is, McMahon can't make decent superstars. They have great talent, but the creators and writers are absolutely garbage, you know? They have great talent, and then if they don't get the major push they deserve, they ask for the release, you know? And then they get, um, bigger than somewhere else and then once they're a free agent, W wants them back. 
like Cody Rhodes. Look at he was not a big star. I mean, he was okay in WWE. Now he's a mega star in ROH. And I guarantee, once his contract expires, WWE is gonna try him, bring him, bring him back. Probably he's gonna be a um, Stardust gimmick again. That was all, all, awful. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up here. <coughs> I'll wrap this up here. Sorry, I got a tongue in my, I got a frog in my throat. Sorry, not really. But you know what I'm saying. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, hit the notification. I want some positive feedback. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and I'll definitely will be back tomorrow. Later.